We are covered up in cucumbers, father, and don't know what to do. <laughs> Top tier prayer. Heavenly Father, who is really, really awesome. We are absolutely drowning in cucumbers right now. <laughs> Hello, lovely people. My name is Emma. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Today, we are going to be looking at a horror, quite frankly. Most of you know I've spent a few years now working in VFX, which means getting to know and working closely with a lot of animators of different types and skills. I've got friends who work in animation editing, things like that, so I get to hear and see a lot of this stuff and generally, generally, I love all kinds of animation, right? I am a sucker for traditional looking 2D style, but I do think 3D can be gorgeous. I even think when 3D is weird and kind of freaky and sort of uh, what's the term for, like, uncanny valley? That can work really well as well, I think. Sometimes, though, sometimes a particular style of 3D animation just looks cheap. It looks like, do you remember Roadside Romeo? The Disney India movie that is, like, kind of Lady and the Tramp, kind of Romeo and Juliet, but dogs and it's it's just it's awful and it looks cheap as hell this is one of those times okay this is cubekins just from the title screen alone it's too the colors are too much it's awful i hate it immediately i hate the font i hate the colors i hate everything let's read the description cubekins is a 3d animated christian kids show for ages four to seven that's all about family faith and fun Follow Kip's adventures which show that even though the world may change from moment to moment, our Heavenly Father does not. Except for in the Bible, where he seems to change very often. <laughs> he changes his mind, he changes his rules, he changes his morals. No, he never ch sorry, he never changes. We just- the bits of the Bible that we don't like, those are the bits we're interpreting wrong. I'm sorry, I forgot for a second. When Kip applies too much fertilizer to a crop of cubecumbers, do you get it? because they're cube- it's cubekins. Because they're cu cubecumbers. He and his family scramble to put the abundance to good use and learn some critical lessons in the process. I don't know what this is gonna be like. There's no point making any uh, guesses or assumptions until we watch it, so let's just- let's just watch cubekins. I can't wait, I'm so excited to watch cubekins. It's quite long, so I'm gonna put the speed up a little bit. I hope that's okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Cubekins, Invasion of the Cubecumbers. Ah, uh, uh, I hate them. I hate their teeth. I hate their little narrow eyebrows. I hate their hair. They look like they were designed to sell toys that stack together in cube form. Why are their eyes like that? They've got like sonic eyes, but without the charm or the stuff. They're just horrible, like giant window with pupils floating around. Oh, it's awful. I hate them. I hate them. Okay, I like the turtles. I like the turtles, they got me with the turtles. I hate the theme tune as well so far. Okay, there's Kip, that's our um, protagonist. <laughs> I'm sorry, we gotta go back a second. Oh look, Pastor Ian. What's happened to his head? When they open their mouths slightly, their teeth are all grey? It's like something weird with the shadows or something? That is freaky. I'm sorry, we've got to go back to Cube Jesus. Okay, right. I'm going to come out and say it right now. I want a portrait of Cube Kins Jesus in my house. That's fucking funny. <laughs> that is a long intro. Oh, no! Uh-oh, what happened? It's immediately gone to an ad break. You're supposed to put the milk in after the cereal, Kip. Oh, I know, but that's so boring. I like to do things my way. <laughs> I, w I also want these sound effects to play just in my life. Like, I'll be like, no, I want to do things my way. Wop wop. <laughs> the bowl was already full and then he just kept pouring and pouring. And he kept pouring and it was going all over the desk and nothing, he didn't do anything about it or notice anything until he ran out of cereal and was like, oh no. Things always turn out better when you follow the directions, Kip. Even cereal. Old McCukin had a farm, yeah. I want to die. <laughs> Isn't that just the first bit of 
very subtle, very slight, sly, terrible advice. Everything's better if you're obedient. Just follow the instructions. Yay, yay. Oh, I'm telling you, Jan, this could be great. It has all the signs of a homegrown success. Oh, I love your new job ideas, Dad. What's it gonna be this week? So. Jim? Is his name Jim? Dad's thing is that he comes up with kooky business ideas every week. Because his sleeves aren't attached to his shirt, why didn't they make the jumper just go up a bit higher? Instead, it looks like the sleeves, like, fused into his skin. Here's the idea, Kip. Growing organic, free-range cucumbers. Genius, Dad! What's a cucumber? Okay. I think it could work, Ed. Have you prayed about it? Gardens need a lot of work. And we have lot- I love your new business idea. Have you prayed about it? Maybe. When it comes to starting a new business, starting a new business by growing cucumbers, I mean, that is a very limited business. You're not gonna make a lot of cash out of that, Dad. Maybe you should do some, like, research? Maybe you should, like, go to the local farmer's market, talk to some people there. I'm just saying that if you're starting a business, there might be better options than prayer to help you get going. Lots of workers right here. What could go wrong, right? I, I'm gonna lose my mind. There's sound effects after everything. It's like when you go to a live recording of a TV show and they hold up the sign that says applause, or they're like, and laugh, and it, it's like that, but with annoying sound effects. It's like, we've got to put in a billoo so you understand that he said something silly. It's, it's, it's gonna drive me crazy. Oh, oh, Dad, let me help, please. Sure, son, but... Growing these veggies isn't easy. There's lots of steps and detailed instructions. I can do it, Dad! But he doesn't like following instructions. He likes doing things his way. You'll see. Okay, my little chip. But do you think you can get Finn to help? With his brains and your energy? We'll get this idea up and running in no time. <laughs> You're the stupid one. Can you get your smart brother to help? Time. Sure, Finn's my best pal. He'll help me out with anything. Uh, Dad? Where are you going? Oh, sorry, Finn's, Finn's his friend, not his brother. I thought that was his, I thought that was his brother. I'm gonna grow these cucumbers. Oh, that's easy. There's plenty of room in the backyard. Once we move that old playset out of the way. Dad, I need that playset. I just got it all cleaned off and ready for my next pet delivery. They're due any day now, and I'm- Ready for her next what delivery? Pet delivery? I need that playset to help with their growth and development. Don't worry, Kara. We can figure out how to grow Dad's cucumbers and help your pets. Pets. Finn and I will take care of everything, Dad. This is gonna be great! Okay, go- Why is he so excited about growing cucumbers? I mean, great. Good for you, but, like, maybe I'm just not a gardener at heart. <laughs> I'll go make you a list of jobs. Just remember to follow all the directions. I'll go get the InstaCell account set up. Uh, the what? That is, if all this is okay with your mom. So, what do you think, hon? Well, I guess whatever we don't sell, we can eat. And I'm always saying the kids need more veggies. Ew! Cucumbers are vegetables? <sighs> oh no. Oh god, that's so scary to look at. What is it? He's got tiny- <laughs> He's got tiny little digger! Who's let this, like, three-year-old child on a little digger? Actually, their garden is definitely big enough to grow cucumbers. They could do with a greenhouse, though, right? Why don't they just get a little greenhouse? What's happening? Would you just look at all this? A mess! I love that, like, we're definitely for little boys who hate their sister. A complete mess! Nothing's done yet and everything's in a pile! All for some silly cucumbers. Correction, we're growing cube cumbers, not cucumbers. What's the difference? Thin. Not much, technically. They're still cucumbers, of course, but with our special seeds, they'll grow into rectangular prisms called cuboids. What? So, oh, okay. I was thinking that cube cumbers was just a pun because everything in this world is cube. Cuboid, sorry. So there's regular rounded normal cucumbers in this world? As well as cube cumbers? Now I'm just lost. I need a law. Cuc <laughs> I need a Cubekins law explained video. What for? For better, uh, stacking and snacking? <laughs> Ugh. I don't care what you call him or why, but I do know one thing, Kip Kukin. You'd better get my playset back together. My new pets are gonna need it. I bet there's gonna be some sort of hilarious reveal with her pets. They're like pet rocks or something. Uh, package for you at the front door. It's my pet store delivery. 
Avery! They're here! Do you need help, Kara? Never mind. Oh, Finn. Sorry, buddy. Kip, look at these list of chores. What's that sound? We're never gonna get all this done. Sure we will. Was that just background noise? Do you need help, Kara? Never mind. Kip, look at these list of chores. We're never gonna get all this done. Sure we will. I've got shortcuts. Maybe it's meant to be like sounds from inside the house, but it just sounds like really loud background noise for a second there. Anyway, it doesn't- that hardly matters. I was just curious. Sorry, I'll carry on. And now for half of them! But Kip, your dad wrote follow directions exactly. I know, but what could go wrong, right? What could go wrong if he doesn't follow the instructions, guys? Why is the moral- <laughs> the moral of the story of the very first episode of Cubekins is follow instructions exactly. Never use critical thinking. If your parents tell you to do something bad, you bloody well do it because you have to listen to your parents' instructions on everything. Exactly. To the letter. Although the parents are apparently fine with him driving a little tractor. Look what the pet shop sent over for me to raise! Super rare dimple cheek the box turtles! Okay, no, she's actually- th that's the turtles. Man, these kids get a lot of leeway. Not only are they having out with the business, which I think is great, they're, they're allowed to drive, like, full-size tractors in the backyard with no supervision, and this one's ordered three turtles. Look, turtles are amazing, they live a very long time. You need to be very sure if you want three turtles to raise. I'm just saying, I don't think randomly giving your kid three turtles, or just letting your kid just buy three turtles, to raise in her playset. What? I feel like the morals are all wrong. Aren't they so cute? So cute! They are cute. They are what adorable. Are they for? What do you mean, what are they for? I... Look at their little face. I'm sorry, I do love the turtles. What do you mean? Their little faces, they're just like. What do you mean, what are they for? I mean, what's their purpose? What function do they serve? <laughs> They're cute, Finn. Their purpose is cuteness. They serve cuteness. Get my playset back together. Everything's gonna be okay. Just take deep breaths. It's time to stay real. Oh no. Oh no, a musical number. No, why? Why? It was already hard work. Don't throw in a musical number. Don't make this show musical. Calm. I should have spent more time in songs, cause now I've gotta go drain my turtles. This is- <laughs> She means pee, right? She means urinate. What did that- I need to review the lyrics. Hold on. I'm going back and I'm putting the captions on. I've gotta go drain train. my turtles. This is a true big girl job to take an untrained turtle mob to show the pet store I can drain my turtles. I'm so confused. Why has she got to- she's already bought them from the pet store. Why has she got to show- This pet store should have verified that she was going to look after them before selling them to her. And they were already following her down a slide and nodding along to the song. I feel like they're pre-trained, right? She should have spent more time in Psalms because now she's got to go and train her turtles. I have no idea. I have no idea. Train my turtles. Their purpose is to be cute, but I might give that the boot. Wondering is there more to my turtles purpose? I is she gonna try and train them to dig in the garden? I don't think they're gonna be in little hard hats working in the garden, although now that I've thought about that, it sounds really, really cute. To be a big girl, so I can make it in the world. Lord, I sure could use some help training turtles. The whole point of the episode, according to the beginning of the episode, the whole setup, it's all about the cube cumbers. It's about the cube cumber venture, and then the sort of the level of awareness above that is it's about Kip learning to follow instructions, right? Why the fuck is the first big song that is going on forever, by the way, about his sister training turtles? Good job, Finn. You're doing it, Kip. Training turtles. Train my turtles. Yes. Last cucumber. The more I hear training turtles, train my turtles, the more it sounds like a euphemism. 
because I did think she was saying drain my turtle at first. Number seeds in the ground. Check that off the list. What's next, Finn? Allure Manure Fertilizer. 1,000 time yield strength. It's time to read the accompanying 40 page manual with all the instructions, usage directions. That is way more than 40 pages. Safety regulations comp- Unless the font's fucking massive. Flex chemical compounds and- What? That will take forever. We've been out here all day. But we have to do it. You just- Finn? <laughs> Was he briefly possessed by the devil? Sprinkle it on. But the directions? Way too long to read. But the- Look, I know that the moral of the story is that Kip should be reading the directions. But you're giving like a three or four year old, it's not explicit, but since this is for four to seven year olds and this is the main character, I'm gonna say he's probably, I guess, four to seven, right? You cannot just give the, the parents aren't even here nobody is supervising this they're just letting the children do it all themselves which is crazy why isn't there an adult present you cannot give a little kid 40 pages of complex chemical compounds and detailed instructions and expect them to read it your dad should have broken that down into a simple easy to understand list of like five things written in big letters maybe in bright colors Rules take too much time but the fertilizer needs to go on the seeds that is why you don't leave your kids unattended uh so if a little's good then a lot is better right i don't think so don't I don't think you can. Uh, can you over fertilize? Can you over fertilize plants? Over fertilization can decrease growth and leave plants weak and vulnerable to pests and diseases. It can also lead to the ultimate demise of the plant. Oh no! Finn was right all along. We shouldn't. Uh, we shouldn't over fertilize these. I've got bloody training turtles in my head. Kids TV is evil. Don't tell Dad. I gotta go home. I gotta go wash my spreadsheets. <laughs> Did he say I gotta go wash my spreadsheets? I think Finn is the character I identify with most in this situation. Whoa, would you look at all this? I cannot believe how much growth we're getting here. Kip, you're a prodigy, my boy. A wonder kind, a vegetable kind. Ah, uh, damn. Uh, I think, he, I think he means Wunderkind, right? If I'm getting that wrong now, I'm gonna look like a real dickhead. <laughs> Thanks to you, I'll post these pics to my InstaCell account and wait for the orders to come rolling in. Wait for the orders. What is he got? Some sort of online cucumber store? You need a little stall at a local farmers market. You can't try and sell cucumbers on Instagram. What are you doing? Oh, please. Why are their ears like that? <laughs> but hun, where are we gonna store all these cucumbers until they sell? No need to worry, my love. We'll eat what we don't sell, and these things will be selling before you can say. What could go wrong, right? <laughs> This is Chris Pearson signing off from Big Box City with Four Square News, where we give it to you, Square. Did you hear that? About the- Alright, that was quite funny. That was quite funny. A fire in Big Box City that's left over 50 cubes homeless? 50? Isn't that the number of cucumbers we've had to eat today? Maybe the number of days we've been eating these things? Okay. I love a cucumber. They are mostly water. If you're giving your kids pure cucumbers and cucumber juice, they're really not getting all the nutrients they need. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't even live here. Cube Jesus is always watching. That's terrible, hon. I wonder what we can do to help them. Well, we could gather up our two small kids' clothes and send them. That's easy. But what to do with 50 hungry cubes? We'll have to pray on that one. James 1.5 says, If any are lacking in wisdom, they should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault. If you say so. A lot of people who had done a lot of praying that would disagree with you. I'll pray with you, hon. Praying together would be perfect. God, our hearts ache and we cry out to you. We pray first kings- It's almost like a satire without meaning to be. The way that they showed the fancy house, the big family. They've got like a big TV. He's always got his fancy iPad. This is so like middle class, out of touch Christian family. Oh my gosh, people are suffering. We better pray on this. Oh, praying is wonderful. Oh Jesus, what can we do? That's just, that's really funny to me. Yet give attention to your servant's prayer and his plea for mercy, Lord my God. Hear the cry and the prayer that your servant is praying in your presence this day. Father, I could not say it better than that. Thank you for my wife and her heart. Help me to care as deeply for those in need. I desire to reflect your goodness and grace. Amen. 
Do you think anyone ever prays and is like, I desire to, re- I desire to reflect your wrath and your rage and your fierce jealousy? Okay, boys, finish up your breakfast and hit the backyard. Those cucumbers won't pick themselves. Well, I'm glad we've put that matter of the 50 homeless cubekins to rest. Back to the yard, boys. (laughs) Finn's the best. (laughs) Where are the turtles? Oh, no. This is a terrible thing, and the reason it's terrible is because Kip doesn't want to keep eating cucumbers. But they've created, like, an unlimited food source here. They could, like, the whole village could be in cucumbers for years, you know? They could be solving hunger issues. This should be seen as some kind of miracle, surely? A whole lot of work that I can't like, purely the reason that this is a bad thing is because the little kid is upset at the amount of work he has to do. <laughs> Good job, kids. Every time I pick one, five more go in its place. How many have we picked today? 5,574? 5,575? 5,576? At least somebody's keeping inventory. I told you we should have read the directions. Yeah, I know, but there's gotta be some way to make them stop. Is there? Not according to the directions, Kip, which we should have read before we- Yes, Finn. You were right. I was wrong. But right now, I really gotta fix this before Dad finds out. He's so proud of me right now. What happens when he finds out I messed up? I don't understand. He's really proud right now because of all the cucumbers that have grown. If he tells his dad it was an accident, what's gonna change? Oh, this is so stupid. So, any ideas on how we can get rid of 5,577 cucumbers? Nope. Okay, then we'll just have to do it. I think I know what it is, the noise. I think it's the um, foley. Specifically, I'm noticing it on... What's his name? Finn. Finn's foley. Because that was him, like, slapping his legs and suddenly there was a bit more background noise. I think there's background noise on the foley for Finn, because it was him talking earlier when I noticed it suddenly, and that was when his footsteps were playing. We've cracked it! I know this isn't really interesting for, like, maybe more than, like, two people. Why don't they get some hummus? Do free cucumbers and hummus. People would be well into that. Nobody's going to want cucumber aid. Cucumber and carrot batons, they purely exist as an edible spoon for eating hummus. That's what I believe. Oh, he's got a crush on the sister. What? What's that? What? <laughs> Why is there a catapult? And what game have they ripped that asset from? That was not created by the same modeler who made everything else in Cubekins. Poor fucking guy, he's like the only other guy in town. He's been constantly harassed by <laughs> cucumbers. Oh dear. I just can't figure out where those. Little bit of intersection in his hand and the straw there. That was, uh. This should have been like a two-parter, I should have done it once reacting to, you know, the message in the terrible cartoon, and once looking for (laughs) production mistakes. (laughs) See that? That was bad. It wasn't in the soup either. I just can't figure out why those cucumber plants are so blasted productive. I mean, I wanted a few of them for us, but I can't sell them fast enough. This is... Ridiculous? I was gonna say unbelievable. It's all my fault. No, 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 no. Kip, Kip, this is all my idea, not yours. No, you don't understand. I... Whoa, that was a... The audio just jumped up mid-speech there. It's, it's all my fault. No, 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 no. Kip, Kip, this is all my idea, not yours. No, you don't understand. I 
I used too much fertilizer on them. Oh, box full. He's coming clean. He's coming clean. Hooray. He's finally going to learn his lesson. I wouldn't let Finn read the boy in all directions, and now we're drowning in cucumbers, and Kara's turtles will die, and it's all my fault. I'm so sorry, Dad. Uh, Kip, it's thank tea. you for explaining what happened. I forgive you, son. I love you, Kip. No matter what. How's about we all pray together, huh? Yeah, that's gonna solve the problem. Our Father in Heaven, you're mighty, great, and amazing. <laughs> We're confused cubes who love you very much, and we could really use your help. We are covered up in cucumbers, Father, and don't know what to do. <laughs> Top tier prayer. Heavenly Father, who is really, really awesome. We are absolutely drowning in cucumbers right now. <laughs> so, we're asking God. For forgiveness and what to do with all these cucumbers. For finding a purpose for my turtles before it's too late. For how to help the homeless. Why would it be too late to find a purpose for your turtles? Why do they need a pur- A turtle doesn't have a purpose. It's just- it's just there to live its life. This is- this is bad pet rearing advice. Yes. It's like a, clearly like an adult human with a weird voice filter on that is also generating a bit of background noise. Thank you for the wonderful blessing of my sweet family, Father. Amen. Tomorrow's church, everybody, so let's get ready for bed. Uh, do we have to clean our, uh, plates? Oh, not tonight. <gasps> Slow zoom in on Cube Jesus. Is this another Cube Jesus? Oh my god. And as Galatians 6 2. Oh, it's the, it's the stained glass window in the church. I was like, have they got a stained glass Jesus window in their house? It's the church. It's fine. Oh, is that who's been. That's why the same guy's been harassed by cubecumbers this whole time. It's because it's Pastor Ian. It's the only other character. <laughs> Who instructs us? Carry each other. And that's why he's got the plaster on his forehead because he got hit by a cucumber. Others' burdens, and in this way, these look like Lego plants, and I like that. Oh, oh God, no! The more of them there are, the scarier it is. You will fulfill the law. Of why is that kid's eyes so big? Look at this little kid with the green hair with the little purple streak. That's cute. Christ. Um. We should totally. Oh, they look so awful. What, what brother Ian said. Uh, better a small serving of vegetables with love than a fattened calf with hate. Shh. Ian read those directions from Galatians. He said we should bear each other's burdens, right? Uh, yeah. And you just said better a small serving of vegetables, right? Uh-huh. We can help others with all our cucumbers, don't you see? We How did nobody in the family think of this yet? <laughs> are praying! And so, my brothers and sisters, I pray our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ keeps and protects you go and be the church in the world you are dismissed in his love what's happening to the church windows that must have been a lighting thing i guess that i feel like if they're gonna flicker horribly just don't do the mosaic stained glass effect explain what you mean kip I don't understand. They're still flickering. It's really distracting me. I'm sorry. There's clearly some kind of lighting interaction or something there that's not working. It's really, it's really putting me off. It's upsetting me. Try and focus not on that. And how our cubecumbers can help anyone. They can if we give them all away. But who would want them? Oh, yeah. Um, uh. I got it. I got it. Got what? Right here. Right here. Great notes, Finn. 50 homeless hungry cubes. Why did he write that down? Maybe it was the start of a poem. 50 homeless hungry cubes! And they need food! They need cubecumbers! Can I help- You betcha sis, more than you know- Look, charity is great. I hate that cubekins exists in this kind of capitalist dystopia where we have to rely on charity when people are made homeless through a fire. Like, it should be the government's responsibility to ensure they're fed. They shouldn't just go hungry because there was a fire. It's bullshit. It shouldn't be on this kid to stop people from going hungry. I know that it's just a children's TV show and it's about giving to your fellow man, but still, still. No. Yay! Hey, it's that same song from earlier. Chris P. 
Pearson here with Foursquare News and Little Box Boyk. Inspired by his pastor Soyman and the helpful tip from his best friend, Little Kip Cupin turned the problem of too many cup- I hate the way her head moves when she raises her eyebrows. It's like a forehead cut. That's not what happens on a human being when you raise your eyebrows. Your entire head doesn't go like- ...into an assembly line of Christian charity. Well, the Lord gets all the- Heavy emphasis on Christian charity. I see this a lot, especially on the internet. I hate that so much emphasis is put on Christian charity. People, Christians, talk about it like Christianity has the monopoly on charity. There's no secular charity. I think charity is always better when it's secular. Not everyone wants to go to a church. Most times, Christian charities aren't exactly charity. They want something from you in return. Usually it's you have to read the Bible or listen to a sermon. Things like drug rehabilitation, we've talked about this before. So much of that hinges on going to Christian-rung programs and essentially converting or pretending to convert in order to actually receive their help. It upsets me that they're doing that in this TV show. Clearly it's a TV show for Christians and part of it is about making them feel really good about being Christians. Christians are just the best, they're so charitable, it's Christian charity, it's fueled by God, that's why we're the nicest, goodest, best people who are gonna go to heaven. The credit for this idea, Miss Pearson. As I always say, if you wanna hear God talking to you, just read the Bible out loud. God gets all the credit for this one. It's like when people are saved by amazing medical procedures and they thank God. And it's like, yeah, okay, Th cheers God, not cheers to, you know, any of the people that came up with it. And fuck this guy, he was just on TV saying the son, saying the plan that his son and friend came up with was thanks to God. It's like, oh, I just listened to God. Like, no, actually, wasn't it Kip and Finn that came up with this idea? What a bastard. Uh, I I'm not really sure how I helped. I, I just took really good notes on Brother Ian's sermon. I really gotta go to the bathroom. Finn made me head of logistics. I'm Kara, Kip's older sister. Church members are inside right now preparing cucumber dishes galore thanks to a bumper crop from local N What are we? Are we a drone? Are we a drone with a camera attached? How are we floating through the house like this? Like over people's shoulders and shit? Cubekin's garden. The boxes are then packed and loaded via an assembly line of specially trained, super rare, dimple cheeked box turtles. No, they're super rare as well. Who's let this child have super rare turtles that are now performing manual labor? Save the cube turtles. All healthy and ready for adoption. The food is. Okay, she's going to adopt them out. Thank God. To responsible owners, I hope being sent to the big box city homeless shelter where hungry cubes are looking forward to the banquet. Kip, this is simply an amazing story. What do you have to say for yourself? Awesome ideas can come from anywhere. If you're paying attention, then work really hard with your friends to make that idea happen for God's glory. And, and when you mess up, apologize. No matter what. I was like, right on. This is, this is, this is fair and accurate. This kind of, this makes it better from what we listened to earlier. And then it went to, for God's glory. And I'm right back out again. <laughs> what? Oh. Don't do charity for God's glory. Do it to help people. And always follow, follow directions. directions. <laughs> the little kid was beating on one of the turtles like a drum at the end. No! <laughs> the producers wish to thank the Swindle family, Dr. Don Collier, our family's friends and interns, our Lord Jesus Christ. Cheers, Jesus. You made Cubekins happen. <laughs> there you go. Cubekins. <laughs> That was weird. Let me know what you thought down below. It's not the worst thing in the world. I disagree with some of the messages. I hate this idea of just doing everything for the glory of God, thanking God for everything that goes right, but not blaming him for everything that goes wrong. It's very like cherry picking Christianity, right? It's kind of absurd to me. I don't think that's a very honest or intelligent or creative way to live your life. It's obviously working for these people, so, you know, who am I to judge? Do let me know what you thought. Leave a comment down below. Leave a cheeky like if you enjoyed this. Let me know what else you'd like to see. I do have, if you have recommendations, by the way, I do have a special Google form just for that, just to keep things a little bit more organized so that I can actually find any recommendations you have. So there'll be a link to that in the description. Check it out if you would like.
Thank you so, so much for watching. Before we go, I must give a big thank you and a shout out to my giant chickens over on Patreon. A very confused looking badger, Altag, Amalgam of Neuroses, Amber, Andy is ducking around, April Washburn, Azku, Baked Bads, Burt Whitehead, Bill Garrett, Bruce Nemanic, Cackles the Spoopy Newbie, Chantale, Charlie Edwins, Chris Simpson, Connie Wright, Conla, Chicken Maximus Lions. God damn it, Conla. Curious Quacker, Daftwood, Dave Kircher, Denny5252, Dr. Mint, Dreffid, Dylan Sweetland, Eamon Sheridan, L, Ephemeral Entropy Buffer, Falcor the Ginger, Fay the Succubus, Flash Prez Blue Wolf, Fulcrum Gaming Ridge, Gay of Reckoning, George Bush, GM, Gravy, Henry Curtis, Hi My Name is Spoon, Izzy, Jan Bojarp, Jason Metcalf, Jeremy Buck, Joe Rowe, John Fry, John Smith, Kent Woodward, Kike, Kiwi Satan, Christian Varga, Laughing Sisyphus, Lizzie Gale, Lord Nibbles Dankworth the Ninth, Mark Threlfall, Mattis McChicken Nuggetus, Miles Tegg, Moonwraith, Mr. Smith, Mr. Creosote, Neve Coughlin, Ninja Red, MPC, Null Unit, Paul McGinty, Piao Meow Noir, Peter Kirouac, Plux, Psyched Dude, Rasbatom, Rosina Keller, RPG MP3, Sam's Bro 1952, Sarah Shabby, Sean, Sean Hamill, Silicon Self, Silly Christy, Simping on Emma Thorne, Seriously, Tank Low, Taxman, The Shropshire Lad, Thomas Velomeyer, Timothy Avery, Tracy O'Raw, Valerie, Wasatch Witch, William Witt, Zabbat, and Zeroless. Thank you so, so much for your support. You guys are really amazing. Have a very lovely week, and I will see you really soon.